Here we will look at producing some basic descriptive statistics that are appropriate to nominal data variables. One-way frequency tables, bar charts and pie charts. Click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies in the menu. You may wish to reset the dialog if you've used it before. Simply click the reset button. You will see a typical SPSS dialog box with a column of variables on the left, a blank column on the right, and a button with an arrow in between. You need to select one or more nominal or ordinal variables from the left and drag them to the right or double click them or select them and then click the arrow. Remember the icon for nominal variables is three coloured circles. We can add statistics and charts. Click on the statistics button. For nominal variables we can only really use the mode. Select the mode and click continue. Next click on the charts button. Choose bar charts and click on continue and then OK. Here we see the viewer window displaying the output. First is the statistics box. This will be larger if you selected more than one variable. It shows number of valid responses, number missing and any statistics you requested such as the mode. Next is a frequency table for each variable. It has the columns of frequency, percentage breakdown, valid percent to consider missing and not missing values and cumulative percent which might be important for you. It breaks it down into each category or value label on the left. Below this is the charts. Here is a simple bar chart. But what if we wanted to change it to a pie chart instead? We don't need to repeat the whole process, we can just bring up the last request and tweak it slightly. Go to the icon menu bar and click on the one here, Recall Recently Used Dialogues. It has two blue lines and a green arrow. This shows all the recent dialogues. Click on Frequencies. You'll see the dialogue has been brought back how we left it. So to change the chart, click on the Charts button, click on Pie Charts, Continue and OK. The whole process is run again, now with a pie chart instead.